In today's episode, you'll learn whether or not you should have a podcast trailer. And if so, what should you include in one? Welcome to Podcasting Q&A, where you learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your podcast. This week's question comes from Jillian. Hi, Bus Sprout. Jillian here from Breaking Through Careers podcast. My question is, do we need a podcast trailer? And if so, what should we include in it and how long should it be? Thanks for your help. Thanks for your question, Jillian. Now, the biggest benefit to a podcast trailer is that you actually need a live episode ready to go before you submit to all of the major podcast directories. Now, for example, it takes up to two weeks for Apple Podcasts to prove your show. So you want to be able to have everything ready so that by the time your first episode drops, it's going to be available everywhere. First, let's talk about how long a podcast trailer should be. Now, the truth is, it doesn't have to be very long at all. Even something as short as 30 to 60 seconds will be fine. Again, the point is it's a teaser. It's supposed to build anticipation for when episode one drops. And the good news is that you can repurpose this podcast trailer for when you want to market your show on other podcasts. Think of it as like an ad slot or when you want to promote your podcast and swap promotions with another show. Another way people use podcast trailers is in between seasons. So let's say you're about to start season three of your show. You can create a nice short 30 second trailer talking about what the upcoming season is going to be and to help build anticipation that way. So now let's talk about what you should put in a podcast trailer. First things first, the name of your show. Of course, you want people to know what it's called so that they can subscribe to it on their favorite podcast app. And if they don't know the name of the show, how are they supposed to do that? Next, you want to be able to talk about what your show is about, who it's for, and who it's not for. For example, Podcasting Q&A is a weekly show that helps you launch, grow, and monetize your podcast. Then you want to have a call to action. And all this means is that you want to have your listeners do some sort of action related to your show. And in this case, you want to have them subscribe to your podcast or tune in on the day it launches. Now, because a podcast trailer is so short, you don't want to cram in a ton of call to actions because it'll just confuse the listener. So you'll want to have one call to action and that call to action is to subscribe to your podcast. Now, when you're recording your podcast trailer, don't forget to add some personality into it. You want it to be able to match the tone and the content of what your show is going to be about. So if you think about it, a comedy podcast should have a nice lighthearted trailer. Even think about adding things like background music or clips of upcoming episodes to just even help set the mood and to build anticipation for episode one. The point is, don't be rigid and have a lot of fun with it. Now, if you want to hear some examples of really good podcast trailers, we've left some links in the show notes, so feel free to check those out. Remember, your podcast trailer is most likely your listener's first impression of your show. So you want to make sure you get it right so that you can start your show off on the right foot. So that means being clear about the show's name, what it's about, who it's for, and who it's not for and adding a little bit of personality in to really build anticipation for when the first episode drops. Thanks for sending us your question, Jillian. Now, if you have a question you would like for us to answer on a future episode of the show, head to speakpipe.com slash buzzsprout or click on the link in the show notes and leave a brief audio message. Podcasting Q&A is available in both video and audio format. If you like video, please subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. And if you prefer podcasts, Podcasting Q&A is available in your favorite podcasting app. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. And as always, keep podcasting.